Okay, if you're having to stretch your glutes out, we've got a couple of tips to try and improve how well you do it and how to get the most benefit and best effect out of stretching those glutes out. So check this out. If you're doing a normal glute stretch, so Fran's gonna show us, that's probably pretty classic. You've probably done that before, you're trying to stretch your glute, obviously that's gonna stretch out the right one. That's maybe one way you've been doing it. We've got an idea of how to improve that. That actually gives you, one, a better stretch, better range to the joint, but also allows you to relax a little bit more into that. This requires a bit of flexibility through your spine, your back, and especially if you're one of those rounded people in your upper back, usually when you do this, your head's off the floor, it's a bit sort of awkward. So this actually requires a bit of flexibility. So, do you feel that in your glute much? Yeah. A little bit, right? Well, we're gonna try and make that a little bit better. So, we use a wall. Now, you don't have to use a mirror, you just need a normal wall. So Fran, off the wall. Now what I would do is try and get as close as you can within reason to the wall. And what you do, so say if we're stretching the right one out, you put the left one on the wall and then cross your right leg over. Now when you do that, what I like to do is try and lift up a little bit to get in the right position and then down. Now at that point there, you can have this foot high, right? At that point there, you may have a bit of a stretch. But what I don't want, or what, how to improve that, is keeping your spine in neutral. So under here, that shouldn't be flat on the floor. What you've got to try and do is gently lift up the lower back into neutral. So I don't mean a big arch in the back. I want you to go not so it's flat on the floor. Now one way you can do that is stick one hand behind because in this stretch, you don't need your hands really anymore. So she can stick one hand underneath her back. So it's just sitting under the back. If she can go all the way through, it's too arched, it's too much extension. So she needs to go just halfway through, and if the back's sitting on your hand, then that's probably sitting in a decent neutral position. So at that point, you feel that more now? Yeah. So if you take that away, take that hand away, flatten your back, feel it less. So you'll instantly know the difference, and you can test this yourself. When you flatten your back, you probably feel less glute stretch, whereas if you keep your back in neutral, you'll feel more glute stretch, which is what we want. Now, then she can play around with it. And obviously, she can play with how close she is to the wall. If you're too close, it gets a bit awkward. But what she can do now is slide her foot down, which actually increases the flexion component of the hip naturally. So it's just this knee is pushing this one forward. She doesn't even have to pull it. She can just completely lie back there and relax. But as she brings that down, you can't then obviously flatten the lower back. That's why the hand's quite handy because you can feel that pressure coming on. So you only go so far that that back is about to push down and go flat, which we don't want. So there's a limit on what you can do here. All right. Now, what she also can do is push her toe against the wall and then just lift out, which gives her a little bit more. You see that? Okay. But as long as she's not rounding her bum off the floor, she's almost got to try and keep the whole pelvis sitting back on the floor. So if you find your bum's coming off the ground, you need to sort of almost roll that back and push that on and really get the bum back on the ground, keep that back in neutral spine, and then you'll get the best stretch in there. Now, if she wants to get a bit of hip rotation as well, so external rotation, you want to combine this stretch with a joint mobility stretch as well. What she can do, she can just swap hands there, she can now push that knee out, which gets her external rotation. She's still got the glute stretch with the flexion, but she's now going into external rotation, which captures a lot more soft tissue around. I hope you feel that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that one is gonna be really helpful. And that's where you can start working on combination stretches where you go, I'm working on muscle, I'm working on joint soft tissue, I'm trying to get some range out of my joint, but at the same time, being completely passive and relaxed through the pelvis. Okay, at this point, she can really sit there and, and let that settle and relax. Now, the benefit of that is if it's easier for you to do and you can last longer, you can get through your one to two minutes of doing that stretch, which gives you that result. So there's a little example for you. Give that a shot. See you next time.